now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid, and she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God my Lord were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid that is of the land of Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Are not Abana and Farpar rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, wouldst thou not have done it? How much rather then, when he saith to thee, Wash and be clean? Then went he down, and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again, like unto the flesh of a little child and he was clean. In May of 1998, the First Presidency wrote a letter to general authorities and the following leaders in the United States and Canada, to all Authority 70s, State Mission and District Presidents, Bishops and Branch Presidents. In 2001, the same letter was addressed to all those outside of the United States and Canada. We are asking church members to assume a greater responsibility for cleaning and caring for church meeting houses. Aaronic Priesthood Quorum should play a prominent role in fulfilling this responsibility. They may be assisted by young women of corresponding ages. From this service, Young people can deepen their reverence and feelings of respect for the house of the Lord. In 1999, Bishop H. David Burton talked about the member participation program. The same opportunities to sacrifice for the kingdom do not exist today as they once did. There was a time in the church not too many years ago when members donated funds above and beyond tithing and fast offerings to help operate their local wards and stakes. Members of the church are invited to participate in the cleaning of their buildings in such a way that, by their sacrifice, they will come to honor and respect and love these beautiful houses of worship. The most important thing to understand is that the program was not primarily instituted to save money. This is a program to develop personal character and receive eternal blessings. Those priesthood leaders who teach their people that this is an opportunity to sacrifice and build the kingdom will find success in their efforts. At the dedication of one of our meeting houses in March 2006, President Boyd K. Packer had this to say, I would like to explain something about dedication. You all contributed to this building, and in a sense it belongs to you right now. You have some ownership of it. Someone paid for the ceiling tile, for the floor tile and glass, the curtains, the wood paneling, the shelves and the chairs. But in a few minutes, I'm going to act as your agent to turn this building over to the Lord. By doing so, we each relinquish our ownership of the building. 
in dedicating a building we present it officially as our gift to the Lord. This means that tomorrow morning when anyone enters this building, they come here as guests of the Lord. It then belongs to Him. That places tremendous responsibility to maintain the building as beautiful and appealing as it can be made. We are under responsibility to have a spirit here in the building that is completely worthy of the ownership of the building. When you think about it, next to your home and the temple, where do the important events of life take place? The meeting house, a center of spiritual and social activities for our families. Here we worship the Savior every week. Here we partake of the sacrament and remember his atoning sacrifice. Here we listen to and learn the doctrines of the kingdom. Here we bless our children. As the First Presidency said, by helping care for the meeting houses, members can deepen their reverence and feelings of respect for the house of the Lord. Individuals are blessed in their lives as they participate in cleaning and maintaining these sacred facilities. Members are asked to assume responsibility for keeping the buildings clean and tidy and the grounds free of litter and debris between routine cleanings and groundwork provided by the facilities management group. Experience has shown that the need for extensive cleaning and other work is minimized when those who use the facility exercise wisdom, caution, care, consideration, and respect at all times and when they clean up after themselves. Why have members been asked to participate in meeting house care? To summarize, we participate in meeting house care, deepen their reverence and feelings of respect for the house of the Lord. By their sacrifice, they will come to honor and respect and love these beautiful houses of worship. This is a program to develop personal character and receive eternal blessings. This is an opportunity to sacrifice and build the kingdom. We must remember why. In order to implement and support the member participation program in the way the First Presidency intended, we must recognize the true purpose of the program and teach this to the members. If the purpose behind the program is ignored, it becomes only a way to save money. Members will not experience the full blessings associated with this service. And as all have not faith, seek ye diligently and teach one another words of wisdom. Yea, seek ye out of the best books words of wisdom. Seek learning, even by study and also by faith. Organize yourselves, prepare every needful thing, and establish a house, even a house of prayer, a house of fasting, a house of faith, a house of learning, a house of glory, a house of order, a house of God. Welcome to this video presentation on member cleaning of church meeting houses. In this presentation, you'll be shown that taking care of the meeting houses is not just a physical task, but also a spiritual one as well. These meeting houses are dedicated to the Lord. You will also learn the standards and methods of cleaning. One concern that everyone has is the safety of our members. Safety for the members is the number one priority. As you view this presentation, you will notice that safety is first and foremost. You will be able to tell that safety is important by the methods used, by the chemicals that are used, and by the personal protective equipment that is worn. The church has chosen very carefully the chemicals that is necessary in cleaning the meeting houses. Now let us take a closer look of how we can accomplish all of these tasks.